Okay, so second take. Hopefully this, <laughs> this works now. Um, so I had a couple issues. Now, if we reference back to what the reference architecture is a part of this integration, I put these configuration files for you to take a look at. Um, you can drill down a little bit further now. Specifically, I'm gonna call attention to the AKS um, Terraform manifest. So when I created the AKS cluster, I had to specify that I was specifically assigning for the API server access here um, that you see, this is essentially that integration where this is um, VNet integration enabled true. And I had to have a separate um, subnet outside of the node subnet, right? So notice the node subnet is a little different and you can see here um, it's denoted a little different on that end as well. So this will allow you to leverage the VNet integration um, enablement, essentially that API server VNet. So if I go to my specific connections, let me go to networking here. Inside your networking for AKS, you should see what plugins you're running, right? So this is my CNI. Now notice uh, my network policy is Azure. Now public access to the API server should be disabled because this is a private cluster. I still have a load balancer. Now, when we talked about the access methods when we were threat modeling for just various um, Kubernetes distributions, regardless if that's AWS, et cetera, um, typically they have a workaround where you can put a authorized IP range. Um, think about that as a workaround where it's not fully publicly exposed. So now I can go to public network access. Now, essentially you can restrict um, any egress outside, right? Um, now, that if you see here, this will be um, configure right here. This will tell you um, of the managed cluster, allow or restrict public network access. I'm using a NAT gateway, so this will be um, showing that area there. But again, um, this is the key area to be concerned with. So we have our VNet where that is essentially our entire network and then our subnet, that's subnet private. Now, if I drill down further, this is gonna be the major difference to what is connecting. So notice I had um, an AKS subnet network, right? And a subnet AKS private. So two different, right? If you can see they're noted a little differently. Now you can see here when you do this creation, this is gonna delegate that, right? A part of that VNet integration. So if that makes sense in a nutshell, right? <laughs> when we've declared that declaratively yeah. in the API server access, that is that denotation back. Now, for simplicity, um, I tried to make this a little larger, but broadly, if I go to my kubectl get services, you can see here all my services are online. Now, I'm not fully connected to the API server, right? I have my Bastion hosts. So if you can see here, this is where that access uh, is coming into play. So notice I'm sitting in this Bastion uh, VNet over here, a separate VNet from that perspective, but I'm able to access this API server down here, right, securely um, without no public IPs from that regard. Now, you also want to um, know further, you know, if you want to see what else is running. Um, by default, I have um, everything kind of vanilla out of the box. This is more of a proof of concept. I did um, install Paranoia, um, a tool I've been working on in the background. So um, I'll show you that just real quick because it's still in development. Um, but essentially, I've already um, compiled this, but this is the key concept is to run sanity checks, right? Um, so when you get a cluster, there is quite a lot that's out of the box depending on the upstream source it's coming from. So the intention of this tool is to make you aware as the cluster administrator, right, or security operations, what is essentially considered dangerous if out of the box, right? Perhaps there's some distributions that you're unaware of when you do a node upgrade, you wanna understand what's going on broadly. Um, so this output here will just tell you specific cluster roles um, that have specific um, verbs from the R, RBAC resources and if they're considered dangerous. So you can see here the formatting's a little rough, um, but down here, this is a little bit more clean. Um, so this will tell you running RBAC checks. This will let you know, okay, what permissions this um, specific role has and then what namespace is it assigned to, and then what resources does it have control over, right? So it can create events, patch events, things like that. Um, same thing with the gatekeeper management role. Now, anything in red is just to denote that it's a little bit more permissive in nature. Um, so I like to have any sanity checks regardless where I'm running my AKS server, right? Now, you can also see I'm running the latest Q 
cute huddle, get node wide. If you can see here, we're running 1.29.2, uh, right? I know 1.3 is um, slotted to come out fairly soon, but it's gonna be quite some time till any managed service provider provides that upstream. It typically takes some time, right? Um, so key concept of this video's intention is more to, if you want to deploy using the API server VNet integration, this is really gonna unlock a lot more uh, accessibility or access methods, if you will, that are still secure in nature, right? Now you never want this said VNet um, or this Bastion host in theory, you don't want it in the same um, VNet where you could essentially access the API server, you want to separate that, right? And that goes back to the blast radius. If that were compromised, you don't want it near other resources, you want it segmented on its own um, segmentation virtual network, okay? So hopefully that uh, covers a couple things. Um, I'll show you one more last portion of Paranoia. Essentially, this is um, uh, a watcher, if you will, that will run in the background and essentially let you know of anything that is a little bit elevated. If there is pods that are privileged in nature and host network access, um, what's going on? Essentially, it's a controller, if you will. Um, that just monitors your cluster. So you can see here, I am running Defender um, for containers. So that's a part of the collector publisher portion of it. And this is native, this can work in any uh, Kubernetes distribution, okay? Um, so hopefully that helps. Um, I will put this specific repository inside the um, description. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video on deploying AKS 